Carpal tunnel syndrome is very common and affects about 5% of the population. It commonly occurs as we get older and is more common in women than in men. It's also more common for diabetics and patients with uncontrolled thyroid disease. It can be work-related, but it frequently just happens and then is known as idiopathic carpal tunnel. It can also be associated with impact and vibration type activities, especially activities requiring repetitive force, such as using a chainsaw. Patients with carpal tunnel frequently report the following, numbness, tingling, and pain, particularly in the thumb, index, middle, and half of the ring finger. Shaking the hands relieves symptoms. Symptoms often occur when patients drive and frequently awaken them from sleep. With carpal tunnel, there is a band of tissue called the transverse carpal ligament. This band forms the roof of a tunnel. The bottom forms all the bones in the wrist. Through that tunnel pass all the tendons that bend your fingers, as well as a nerve. That nerve supplies these muscles sensation to these three and a half fingers. With carpal tunnel, that nerve gets pinched. Currently, over 50% of carpal tunnel surgery release in the United States is performed with an open technique. Endoscopic carpal tunnel surgery release is technically more difficult, but it provides a number of benefits. Less pain after surgery, especially during the first six weeks. Return to work faster. No statistical difference in results three months after surgery. When this procedure is performed, a one centimeter incision is made near the wrist flexion crease. Through this incision, the undersurface of the ligament is cleaned and the tunnel is dilated. An endoscope is then passed through. At the end of the endoscope is a blade. The blade is used to release the ligament from inside out, from the distal palm to the wrist flexion crease. Once the ligament is released, the ends separate and that decreases the pressure in the nerve, relieving the carpal tunnel syndrome symptoms. The endoscope is then removed and the distal form fascia is released proximal to the wrist flexion crease under direct visualization. The ligament is completely released from about 5 cm distal to the small incision to about 2-3 to cm proximal to the incision. After surgery, a soft dressing is applied. Patients can keyboard and use their hands and fingers immediately. Ice, elevation, and finger range of motion exercises are performed. It takes six to eight weeks for the ligament to heal after surgery in this new open position. Some things to avoid 10 to 14 days after surgery are no swimming, hot tubs, dishes, and no wearing ski gloves or plastic gloves. For the first six to eight weeks after surgery, avoid activities that involve pounding or vibration. We want this tunnel to heal as wide open as possible, maximizing the volume to reduce the chance that the carpal tunnel syndrome symptoms can return. After surgery, patients typically take a few pain pills the night of surgery, anticipating discomfort. For most patients, these are the only pain pills they take. It's important to massage the palm in the horseshoe area of the hand to minimize scarring, decrease pain, and help desensitize the area. Most patients note dramatic and immediate improvements in their symptoms, but it frequently takes about three months after surgery before their grip strength returns. Patients may have difficulty opening doors and jars of food up to three months after surgery. Endoscopic carpal tunnel release is a simple and effective surgery and is often performed with wide awake anesthesia. It produces immediate dramatic improvement in symptoms, provided that the patient is not waited too long and there is no permanent nerve damage.